hello all so this is the this video is part 2 of the arithmetic instructions addition subtraction instructions are done in the part 1 so this is the part 2 continuation to the part 1 arithmetic instructions of 8051 microcontroller so in this video we will discuss about the multiplication division increment decrement and DAA instructions. So, first let us get started with the MUL AB instruction. So, MUL AB instruction it multiplies the contents of accumulator and the register B. So, for example, when you take any mul multiplication, any n bit number multiplied with an another n bit number, the product will be of n bit size the maximum length of the product will be of 2n bit so that is the reason a 8 bit and b 8 bit so 8 bit number multiplied with an 8 bit number the result may be maximum 16 bit so when you are multiplying the content of accumulator register with the content of your b register then the result will be of 16 bits. So, 16 bit we have lower byte, lower byte means from 0 to 7 bits lower byte and higher byte which is from the 8 to 15 higher byte. So, the lower byte is stored in the accumulator register and the higher byte is stored in the B register. So, this is about the result. So, again MUL AB multiplies the contents of accumulator register with the content of B register and the result maximum length of the register uh, re result is 16 bit and 16 bit result 0 to 7 the lower byte will be stored in the accumulator register and the higher byte will be stored in the B register. So, if the product is higher than 255 that is here FFH the overflow flag will be equal to 1 otherwise it is cleared and always remember carry flag will be equal to 0 always the carry flag will be equal to 0. So, again let us take example if accumulator is equal to 85 that is a 55 h 85 is a decimal 55 h equivalent hexadecimal and B register 23 which is a 17 h equivalent hexadecimal number. So, these are the values before execution of MUL AB instruction once the MUL AB instruction is executed the product. So, 85 multiplied by 23 which is here 1955 or the equivalent hexadecimal number 07A3. As I told you the lower byte will be in the accumulator register and the higher byte will be in the B register. And as the product is greater than 255 the overflow flag will be equal to 1 and about the carry flag it will be always equal to 0. Next div ab it divides the content of a register by b register. So, whenever we do the operations we have quotient and we have remainder. And the quotient will be stored in the accumulator register and remainder will be stored in the B register. A division operation content of A divided by content of B and usually a division operation has quotient and remainder. Quotient goes into the accumulator and remainder goes to the B register. So, for example, accumulator is equal to 90 decimal or equivalent 5 a h 
and b is equal to 5 decimal and 0 0.5 hexadecimal. So after the execution, so after the execution, the accumulator will have the quotient and register b will have the remainder. So 90 divided by 5. 90 divided by 5 is equal to 18. 18 in the decimal and its equivalent hexadecimal is 12h. And 0, 0, remainder is 0, 0. So accumulator will have, after the execution, accumulator will have 12h and B register will have 0, 0. And in this case, the carry flag in this case the carry flag is equal to 0 and the overflow flag the overflow flag is also equal to 0 and if B contains 0 0 H before the division operation before the division operation before division operation if b is equal to 0 0 h then it is an divide by 0 operation it is an undefined divide by 0 operation and then the values of accumulator and B are undefined and the overflow flag will be set to 1 and carry flag will be cleared. So this is when if B is equal to 0, 0 H before the division operation that is divide by 0. Next is your increment operation. Increment the data byte by 1. So the instruction is used in register addressing mode direct and also in the register indirect addressing mode. So first increment A. So increment A is the content of accumulator A plus 1 and the result in the accumulator register. Increment Rn, the content of the register is incremented by 1 and result again stored back in Rn register. Increment direct, so for example increment direct we, will, we can take it as increment sum 6f. The 6f is the internal RAM location and assume that 6f has some 30 H before execution the, the internal RAM location 6, 6F has some 30 H. So then the instruction increments this value by 1. So if this is before execution, after execution of the instruction the content of 6F will be 31 H. So this is about your increment direct and next increment at the rate RI. So the data byte pointed by the RI register which may be R0 or R1 plus 1 plus 1 and the content is saved in the RI register and next increment DPTR. So increment DPTR, DPTR is a 16 bit register. So the content of the DPTR which is a 16 bit value will be incremented by 1, incremented by 1 and the result again stored back into DPTR register. And here no flags are affected. No flags are affected.
so decrement decrement data byte so decrement a the content of accumulator minus 1 and the result is saved back into accumulator register decrement rn the content of register is decremented by 1 and result saved back into rn register decrement direct the data byte stored in the internal ram location will be subtracted by 1 and result stored back in the internal ram location and decrement at the rate ri so the data byte pointed by the ri register minus 1 and result again stored back at the at the rate ri dptr again decrement dptr so the content of dptr is decremented by 1 and result is stored back in dptr register next is your daa decimal adjust accumulator this is a decimal adjust instruction so it adjusts the 8 bit value in accumulator resulting from operations like add or add c and produces 2 4 4 bit digits in packet binary coded decimal format so let's understand this instruction with an example so assume that you are adding two unpacked bcd numbers 05 plus 05 usually when i add this 05 plus 05 so 010101 one second so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 and again 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 so when you add these two 0 1 1 and again 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 your result is 0 a 0 a is the result but usually if these two are unpacked bcd numbers the result expected is 5 plus 5 the result expected is 1 0 so for this we need to adjust this value to the correct bcd number so how do you do that take the result and add 0 6 to it so what you are adding 0 6 to the result so 0 1 plus 1 0 1 again 1 plus 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 so the result is 1 0 this is what the expected or the adjustment to the correct BCD value. So DAA instruction adjusts the value to the correct BCD number. So this can be done by sometimes by adding 06 or 60 or 66 depending upon the flags and the value in the A register and this is applicable only for the accumulator register not for any other register. So with this we complete the arithmetic instructions of 8051 microcontroller. Thank you.